You know, leadership is not a popularity contest. Can I just say, if you're a people pleaser, you're in for a long, tough ride as a leader if all you want to do is please people. It's not a popularity contest. And I speak to many leaders that struggle with, why are people resisting my leadership? Well, sometimes it may be a good thing because you're taking them someplace they don't really want to go, but they need to go. That's what leaders do. But there could be a problem. Here's three things to look at. Number one, expectations. When I was in a CEO, I found that I had this enormous responsibility of people all over the world that expected things of me. I had a board of directors, I had our employees, I had our overseas staff, I had donors, I had family, friends, other constituents. I felt like everybody had expectations of me and if you wrapped them all up and put them in a list, it would take the work of five people clarify expectations. I had to regularly get in front of my staff and my leadership and my whole team and say, this is my role as your leader. This is what I can do and this is what I will not do. Clarify expectations. A second problem is look at the control factor. You might be a control freak. People do not like to work for control freaks. Have you ever heard the verse that says, blessed are the control freaks for they shall inhibit the earth? Nobody likes to work for control freaks. Moses had to learn this from his father-in-law Jethro to spread the load. Don't think you're invincible, that you're the only one that can solve problems, that can make things happen. Spread the load. The third thing you need to look for if people are resisting your leadership is the role. Are you in the right role? You may have gotten to a place of burnout or, or you're just finished, but you're afraid to move on and people can sense that you're not in the role you should be in. I like to say leaders need to be all in or all gone. Remember, always take your leadership to the next level. Go to HansFinzel.com to check out my Leadership Answer Man podcast and other great resources for taking your leadership to the next level.